In our last video, we showed how to configure the stress level settings. Now that Control Up is showing us the stress situations, we are going to demonstrate in this video how to configure an email alert for those performance issues. The functionality that we'll show in this video can be utilized to produce email alerts for a variety of other issues, system errors, communication failures, application faults, and more. In Control Up, Email alerts are configured using incident triggers. Incident triggers are managed from the Trigger Settings tab of the Settings window. Use the Settings ribbon bar or File Settings to get to it. The list of triggers is a combination of triggers that are defined by you and your organization and dynamic triggers that are updated automatically by ControlUp Cloud Analytics, highlighted in yellow here. Dynamic triggers are built into ControlUp enabling it to automatically record known issues and common errors in your network. Let's create a new trigger that will be activated every time a computer enters the high stress level. First, I click Add Trigger and choose Stress Level as a type of trigger I want to create. Please note there are many kinds of triggers that can be created and a short explanation accompanies each of them at the bottom of the window. I want this trigger to monitor the high computer stress levels, so let's change the stress level to high or above. I can make a sophisticated filter based on the attributes of the object being monitored. I want to catch all occurrences of high stress level on computers, so I won't configure one, but we'll take a quick peek to show that you can build sophisticated filtering logic into the trigger. The filter window is similar to the Group Policy Preferences window in Windows Server Group Policy Editor. Let's limit the trigger to only monitor the VMware View folder and all of the child folders. I'll leave the default of All Days so that this trigger will be active all the time. This next screen is where we define the follow-up actions in the event that our trigger fires. I can send an email, export the view as a CSV to disk, and also record an event to the application event log. I will choose to record an event to the app log. Let's make the event a warning, which will be recorded whenever the trigger is activated. Please note that whether or not you choose to configure follow-up actions, the stress level incident will be recorded in the incidents database for further analysis. I will also send an email alert to my user account. Notice that for email alerts, I can choose to repeat the alert and also pick a specific schedule when to send those emails. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will send emails to myself during the weekday hours only. Click Next, give the trigger a name and description, or modify the suggested name and description, and then click Finish. Be sure to click Apply or OK on the main settings screen in order to ensure that the trigger you just defined is written to the organization's configuration. The trigger will now fire for all future events that meet the conditions. Let's make a workstation enter the high stress state and see the email alert that is generated by it. Please note that the Control Up email alerts are sent using a cloud-based service you do not need to configure a local email server for the alerts to be generated. However, the email alert functionality is not available in offline mode. Another important note regarding email alerts. By default, email alerts will only be generated when an instance of ControlUp console is running and connected to all of your monitored resources. To enable monitoring of your resources even when the ControlUp console is not running, we recommend installing an instance of ControlUp Monitor, which we will cover in another video. Notice that the email I received includes all of the relevant information about the trigger and the counter or counters that created the stress condition. This immediately gives you useful troubleshooting information. Triggers also generate entries in your organization's incidents database. In our next video, we will explore analysis and troubleshooting of these incidents with ControlUp using the Incidents pane. For more detailed information on incident triggers, please visit our website, 
www.smartx.com and refer to the online documentation there. Thank you for watching.